Hey guys, Tommy here. Uh, today we are looking at a massive hack that just happened in crypto. This is a, a hack that happened on Atomic Wallet with here you can see Zach XBT reporting over 35 million in stolen assets. This is massive. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom into this a bit with you guys to look at what's going on and also um, kind of show you guys how what happens to victims you know again you guys this is the biggest problem in crypto crime is the biggest problem in crypto it's and it's something that uh no one else has solved that well besides our team we'll look at that in a sec but first let's let's see what's going on here so this is zach xpt's thread he's got ongoing let's scroll to the top to see how this started so he says some things here to note about this hack the largest single victim is observed for 2.8 million you guys they had that in their atomic wallet Man, um, many other losses of six figures and a lot of victims are giving Zach information so he can explore. Here's the original tweet by Atomic Wallet. This is on June 3rd. Said, uh, we've received reports of wallets being compromised. We're doing all we can to investigate and analyze situation, uh, da da da, da. Um, But this is, this, this is interesting. Let's, let's go into this a bit and, and see some kind of interesting tidbits I want you guys to take away from this experience. Um, and I'm gonna move through this as quickly as I can. I got a, uh, some important stuff to cover. So, so here, uh, Tay talks about what the drain looks like, um, kind of how the, how the hacker is operating. It seems like they're kind of manually uh, training things or they have, they, have, they, have a, they found a vulnerability. And you guys see, the thing is, they don't know what that vulnerability is. They don't even know what it is. You guys, again, crime and crypto is just, it's, 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 it's the biggest problem. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly shocked that our team is the only one who solved this, but it is the biggest problem. We don't even know how this hack occurred. Um, and then another thing I wanna bring attention to that just irks me so much is after people get hacked, um, look at this, you then, then you have scammers coming in and taking advantage of people who have just been screwed over. It's, it's the most reprehensible thing. One of the things I despise the most when I see things like this, like this is a, someone trying to steal more money from people who've already been stolen. Here's, here's some of Zach's uh, kind of process as he went through this. These updates just surpassed 14 million tokens. Again, it's 35 million as of latest, but uh, 14 million worth of stolen funds across Bitcoin, ETH, Tron, Binance, uh, Cardano, Ripple, Polkadot, Cosmos, uh, Algo, uh, Avalanche, uh, Stellar, Litecoin, and Doge. So, so basically a ton of coins. It seems to be some, uh, you know, something on... Uh, so some, I, I didn't even know, right? We're all speculating on what could happen, but there's some vulnerability, uh, obviously in Atomic Wallet that gave access to all these keys, right? So um, yeah, the five biggest losses, uh, 9.7 million again. Uh, and, and then I think this is, uh, might be outdated information. So, so let's, uh, I don't know. Well, let's, let's look at some of these. Uh, I bookmark some of the interesting um, Responses. So let's take a look at, or at some of the some of the experiences that have happened to people. I want you guys to understand, you guys. People, nobody thinks this could happen to them, right? And Atomic Wallet was apparently self custody. You have your own keys. You know, not your keys, not your crypto. We all heard that, but in reality, you don't really know what's going on in in, in a lot of technical infrastructure, and that's exactly the problem. So I'm going to scroll through and show you guys um, some of this stuff. Tay, she's the one who was on the original founding team of. My Ether wallet has been digging into it to kind of see what's going on. Um, look at this guy, 690K stolen from me. Just like that, you guys. Uh, you know, uh, massive, massive sums of money. And there's a lot on this tweet thread. I'm just showing you guys some of them that just popped out to me. Um, let's see here. Let's check, check out this response. Yeah, this is not what should be happening. This is not what should be happening like every week. This is a mega case, but I mean, I see it every week. People are losing their stuff through all sorts of attack vectors. Yeah, thank you, man, I agree. That's what I've been saying for years. Again, I am just mind blown that, you know, um, at Energy, we've, we've built the solution to this and I'll go into how it works, but we've, we've solved this problem. And it's crazy to me that uh, Energy isn't, I've adopted, I'm doing another video on Energy for you guys soon in the coming uh, probably a week or two, really telling you guys what I've been up to the past five years. But you guys, you guys know I was doing YouTube videos uh, a lot more actively between 2013 to 2017. You know, I'm an OG crypto YouTuber for all the new ones here. Um, but you know, uh, but then I, in 2017, I was like, I need to build energy. The world needs it. And I didn't know 
exactly what it was in there that the world needs. But but now I know it's the security. This is true, you guys. Guess guess what, you guys? Next week or two weeks from now, or no more than a month from now, there's going to be another big hack, you know. And this is going to keep repeating. We're going to keep suffering. The world's going to keep suffering pain until the world re- realizes that it needs decentralized governance. I want to see the crypto space evolve, you guys. That's why I do what I do, you know, bringing consciousness to the world and consciousness to crypto. But let's keep going here. Another guy here, Web3 is too crazy, man. No one's safe. Yep. You know, you just, you just never know. And, and you never know what new social engineering attack is going to be around the corner to nail you. You know, like I, I did that video on address poisoning. I didn't know about address poisoning. Probably most of you guys didn't either. That's exactly what it is. They catch you while you're off guard. They catch you when you think you're safe. Oh, you put, you got your keys, right? You put it in a, in a atomic wallet. Whoops. What? Well, it's gone. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, it's like that meme. I should, should find it. Uh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys seen this. Uh, how, can I help how can I help you, young man? Man, if you guys haven't can... seen this meme, it's hilarious. I'm just, I'm just uh, playing around here, but here, pounding interest, and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't seen that meme, check it out. The end, it's gone. <laughs> South Park meme, but that's sadly exactly what it's gone. What, what happens? You put your, you put your crypto in a. Um, wallet that you think is safe right self custody you didn't have it on an exchange you had it in your wallet you thought it was safe and it's gone just like that overnight it's gone again the solution you guys is decentralized governance look at this guy poor guy all my btc and usdt is gone what's happened you know they just he's just trying to save up he's trying to build his stack and it's gone uh here's another comment i think what this person's trying to say that is essentially what I, what I say that consciousness, you guys, um, and, and um, you know, karma, you know, we have to, the, the, okay, here, here's, here's a takeaway, you guys. I think the reason why so many of these scams and stuff occur is because the system isn't there, right? Like, look, if, if a scammer is desperate, maybe he's in a desperate situation, and he feels like if he can get away with it, they're going to do these scams, you guys. That's, that's why they're so prevalent. That's, that's how that's how these scammers think they're, they they I think, you know, behind every scammer is a human being, but they don't want to think about how they're affecting other people. They think that their problems are more important than yours. And that justifies them putting their hands in your pocket and taking what's yours. But what happens in the real world when that happens? Right. You call the police, you get the authorities. Sometimes there's direct vigilante repercussions. But in crypto. You have the scammer and hacker in some country. You don't even know where. You don't even know where. And they can get away with it. And that's why this stuff is happening. So, let, so let's keep going. So what you need is you need a system. You know, again, I, I like using Singapore as an example. Singapore had issues with crime and other places did too. But once they bring policies in that, you know, reprimand that sort of activity, it stops. You need a system that doesn't allow the hacks and scams to occur. We've had this for years. It's, it's proven. It's passed the test of time. Well, we have the solution to this. I'll, I'll tell you more about that in a second. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about energy. For those who don't, I'll tell you guys about it. But let's, let's keep going here. This comment I liked here, there has to be some sort of regulation. Maybe it's trusted source of uh, known malicious addresses. And those addresses are blacklisted for making any transactions on chain. Would basically make stealing funds pointless. I don't know how feasible this would be. So this guy is cool. He's thinking on the wavelengths. That we're thinking, first of all, I like that he understands that there's got to be a solution, right? First, that's the first thing you have to think is solution-oriented mentality. There's got to be a solution. But, but, the, but the part is, it's not regulation. You see, I, out of experience, I can tell you that regulation doesn't give a damn. You guys, I lost millions of dollars, millions, multi-millions to hacks, scams, fraudulent ICOs, you name it. You know, I work with authorities. I put several... Uh, scammers and hackers in prison but it's not enough and regulation is is weak and even sometimes you guys some some shitty ICOs I actually sued I don't know if you guys know and uh, you know you find out that the judges sometimes are making very questionable decisions it's it's it's, it kind of makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes so the answer isn't necessarily regulation the answer is governance you guys let me tell you guys what I've said for years the future of crypto is decentralized governance. Decentralized governance means that you have, you have networks, you have different networks 
and they're and it's like it's like their rules it's their laws and guess what the beautiful thing about competition is you have the choice of which network you like there should be numerous networks with decentralized governance right now energy is the only one that i know of that comprehensively does it but users have a choice on what network they want to use and that essentially comes down to what values what values and money and this is to, like to take things to a higher level right um ultimately the highest level of crypto that i've observed that i've and i thought about this for years and years and hundreds of hours maybe thousands the highest level of crypto is competition for governance so this guy's kind of on the right path so if you don't like how crypto is governing you could have another crypto that maybe governs more with your beliefs but this is the future right now you don't have that choice with the fiat currencies you use you have to use that fiat currency you know if you're in the us it's the dollar if you're in europe it's the euro you don't have a choice the future of money is choosing the money to use that aligns with your values and beliefs this is the highest level of crypto this is something that just a very small fraction of people in crypto see and understand okay so this is where crypto is ultimately going competition for governance which again is a good thing and ultimately what that means is a competition for morality which is a beautiful thing which i can't wait for because that is how we evolve as humans which is so badly needed let's keep it going here um this poor guy alex here they stole 257k usdt ouch and they sent to pancake swap what can i do yeah man there's not much you can do i had a buddy who had um you know a bunch of um busd stolen binance usd and uh you know um he was playing around pancake swap too and it's and, and it's gone you know on those chains there's no governance so when that happens to you you just there's nothing you do i'm sorry sorry bud but what you can do is you can you can help bring awareness to the solution join join us we are the solution to this we we want to see the space evolve that's that's the solution um yeah, again, this guy, these, these scammers, you know, I see this numerous times when people get hacked or scammed, the scammers jumped in and, um, you know, and then, and then try to trick them. This is, this, is a, this is a phishing attack or some sort of fraud that they're basically trying to steal more money from the users. It's sad. That's the state. So sk people get scammed and then scammers just smell the blood and just try to go in for round two, man. It's, it's screwed up, you know. Look at this comment. People talk shit about Binance, but it's the safest place to keep your crypto. You, this is how this is how people get desperate, man. Like they don't feel safe out there, you know. They're looking for a solution. You know what the solution is? Actually, the better solution to this is a blockchain with governance that looks after its users, that blacklists bad actors, and they can't get away with it. And that's what we've done. All right, let's keep it going here. Um, some of these got a little bit mixed up. I don't know how. Um, I think Twitter bookmarks kind of uh, um, messing up a little bit, but here, here's a, here's one. Your keys, your crypto, right? <laughs> yeah, well, that didn't happen, did it? And we don't know. Um, yeah, exactly. You don't know. You don't know what's going on, right? You guys got your whatever whatever wallet you have installed on your phone. You really don't know what's going on with it. Hmm? So, so the best solution is actually to use a blockchain that protects your assets. That's the solution. Um, wild isn't atomic cold storage well guess not um keep it going does it look like they're going from largest to smallest um i think they kind of did to some degree but um you know they they've been all over the place again stolen many many different tokens from different chains so you guys i'm going to segue this into what we built you guys because honestly again i'm going to make a video explaining to you guys where we've gone with energy but we built revolutionary technology like I kind of, I kind of, I've been thinking on this a lot recently, guys, and I, and I think that I'm either, I'm either a genius or I'm absolutely nuts. It's got, it's got to be one or the other because, it's, 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 we, we built this technology way back in 2019, and energy moved to a Gen 3 blockchain, um, in, uh, in 2020, and then we worked out the bugs, but the, the blockchain's been solid for several years, and the governance has been working throughout that time. We have stopped a vast majority of crime on our blockchain. You know, all those phishing attacks, social engineering attacks, everything. We've, we've stopped it. And again, the way this works, and I realized something, you guys. I realized something. That a lot of people don't even know the technology we built is even possible. So let me tell you guys very briefly what the solution looks like. The solution looks like what we built, which is you have a network. And if 10% of the network, it's built in the protocol. Let me be clear about this. This is built in the protocol. 
that if 10% of the network votes and says, hey, that guy is a scammer, then that address can be blacklisted, meaning it can no longer send funds. Okay, And then you can do another proposal governance built into the network that will drain that bad actor, that scammer's address into a recovery wallet, and then we send it back to the users. We've done this uh, many times, and, and over, over a million dollars. Um, I don't know exactly how many times, it's, it's in the hundreds, you know, that we have, we have uh, crimes that we've stopped. So that's pretty significant. There's other innovations we have on, on energy as well, but this is the main one, you guys. This is, I mean, this is the problem of the day. You know, we can have a million transactions per second and all that stuff, but that's not the problem. The problem is people trying to use crypto in a safe way. If I were to guess, you guys, I would say over 90% of people have been scammed at least in some way in crypto. And that's, that's the status quo. So um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, ask you guys here, because one thing I realize, you guys, I've been in the trenches uh, working on product development, building these products for the past years, but I haven't been as focused on marketing as I should, but now I am because I see how bad the world needs this stuff. And crime is just getting worse, you guys. Since we built this stuff several years ago, crime's just got worse and worse in crypto. And you know one thing that scares me? I'm going to tell you one thing that scares me that um, uh, Leon on our dev team, uh, head, of, head of tech, told me, which I agree with. He's like, you know, these scammers are you know, starting to learn how to collude with each other. These hackers, you know, and they're getting organized, you know. And these scams and hacks are getting more sophisticated, more and more. So the pain of this stuff is only going to increase until the world rallies around the solution. So I ask you guys, you know, help me get the word out about this. You know, I built energy with uh, the purest heart and, and whatnot. I, we did a fair launch with this. I didn't raise any money in an ICO. Maybe I should have. I didn't, you know. Instead, I gave away millions of dollars of energy for free, um, you know, and we didn't, again, didn't do an ICO, avoided all that stuff with securities and stuff. And just really want to make the world a better place. The motto of energy used to be cryptocurrency for world consciousness, if you guys remember. But then I realized people don't know what that means. <laughs> so, so we started, started saying the safest blockchain. So this is what the world needs, you guys. I'm, so my ask to you guys is if you guys know any, any companies, any people, any investors, anyone, anyone who's going to help energy rise, connect them with me. I'm here on Twitter, Tommy World Power. You know, my DMs are open. Send me a DM. Um, or send me an email to Tommy World Power uh, at your Tommy World Power at, um, at Energy Team, or actually send it to Tommy World Power at Gmail dot com. That's a, that's my private email. Send send it send it there, or send me a DM. Get in contact with me. Let me know who you think we can connect to to help this technology get out there because the world needs it. Blockchain applications should be built on energy. You know, people should be this. This is what the world needs to grow. So anyway, I don't want to make this video long, but it just this one, uh, this one kind of just struck me because it's a massive hack. And again, it's a wallet that you're supposed to have your keys and who knows what happens. And that's just the name of the game in crypto. When you got money there, you know, people are going to try to take it. So what you need, the ultimate solution is decentralized governance. Everything else is just a bandaid. So anyway, I'll wrap the video up here. Um, thank you guys. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't and comment if you haven't and share this with your friends. Share this with anyone you think would help to learn, to be aware and uh, yeah, let's help the world evolve. Let's help the crypto evolve. I'm out. Catch you guys soon.